great coach. Yes. Ton of success in Utah in the regular season. Didn't necessarily reach the expectations in the postseason. But now you have Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, two players who are extremely talented, all-star caliber players. What does it mean for them, big picture, with this coaching change? I think it's really significant. First and foremost, Quinn Snyder is a terrific coach, as you mentioned. Uh, he's also a great person. Uh, I, I've known Quinn since high school. Uh, and so to see him on this journey uh, and all that he's been able to accomplish as a coach, I hope that he gets to a place where he can get back on the sidelines because I think the game would appreciate having him uh, as a head coach again. Uh, having said that, you know, there's more uncertainty now because that roster was going to have to be revamped anyway, right? They had already started that process uh, during the trade deadline. And so now you got to figure out, one, can those two guys coexist? Uh, what can we do to help both those guys to get us to a level where maybe we can be a, a legitimate contender in that Western Conference because they did not show that this past season. And, and they do have some work. Like, I, I don't think Donovan and Rudy are the issues, but they've got to make some wholesale changes on that roster if they want to elevate. You, you look around at Western Conference, Dallas is going to get better. The Lakers, Memphis, uh, obviously Phoenix is still going to be there. Golden State, like in order for Utah, Denver, to get up into that upper echelon of the Western Conference, they're going to have to make some significant changes throughout that roster if they want to find themselves relevant next season. A lot of uncertainty. Now there's a lot more questions than answers when it comes to the Utah Jazz as they move forward into the